I think we uh, today was a really good practice for us. Um, I, I like the way the guys are working together. Uh, we're communicating a lot better, and we're getting some really difficult looks from our offense. But uh, being able to spend some time on, on Weaver State stuff and work on the scouting, t- uh, scouting, scouting stuff has been really good for our defense. And uh, these guys are getting now getting into game mode. I mean, a week ago it just seemed so long ago, but now that we're working on on our opponent film and working on uh, you know the looks that we're seeing in the practice, I think it's going really well right now. Great, he's doing he's doing a great job, and then um, we thought he could do that for us, and then he's he's actually exceeded our expectations um, early. You know, he he he, he, he uh, was able to grasp the, the concept and the position uh, really really well, and so we were able to add a few more things to his uh, to his uh, yeah, to his responsibilities. But overall, the guys are doing well, and Josh was a great leader for us, and a guy that's played a lot of snaps. So. We're going to lean heavily on him and rely on him to be a great leader for our team. Coach, what do you like the most that you've seen these last few weeks and the growth of the defense as, as, as a unit? I just, uh, the urgency of the, the team, uh, I think they're just anxious to get on the field now. To, I think now that we're getting closer to the game, you see these guys starting to up the ante as far as being prepared, and there's a lot more excitement going into um, into, the, into each practice. You know, So uh, I, think that's, I think that's normal, but uh, I just like the fact that these guys are in the – in the in the grind practice like we had today, we're just fired up, ready to go, and they didn't let let off at all. You with Coach Tuiaki prior to this week running the defensive line in Utah. Now with the linebackers, are, are there similar things you can bring to working with a different group defensively? Oh yeah, we, we we're using Coach Tuiaki. He's got a lot of knowledge with the front, but. Um, one thing I know that he, he knows football and he understands the uh, the other side of the game. So we're, you know, our, our coaches. We have a great coaching staff on defense, and, and um, you know, I, I really lean heavily on those guys to to bring their you know the expertise that they, they know on the other side. Coach Chad and Odom and and Tuiaki all add that. So just because he coaches the linebackers doesn't I mean he spends all the time with the, spends all his time with linebackers. We actually have our D line and, and our, line, our DB coaches spending a lot of time with the other other guys in, on, on in other positions. But the, you know, the, if you're going to go to pass rush, you probably need to uh, get some lessons from Coach Chad, Coach Tuyaki. So our DBs that are blitzing and our backers did a lot of individual time with them as well. Because a lot of that versatility with different players like Joshua. And, you know, yeah, they have to do so many things, and then they have to be, you know, so it's so different that you're going to need more than one coach to, to get them ready. So the um, offense did it some point, Coach. Um, where would you like to see the most improvement before the game? I just I think as we start going through a few more things and getting ready and, and being more um, geared towards Weaver State, I think the guys are starting to do it already. I mean, I don't think there's anything extra that we need to do other than stay the course and uh, keep the intensity up. And I think as long as we keep striking and keep working on the physical part of the game, I think it'll all work out the way it's supposed to. Some different looks from the offense today. Does that help you when they kind of mix things up a little bit? Oh, yeah. And then I think the speed of it all, I mean, they, they give us so many different looks. and. I think um, Coach Bald and his staff do a great job at being able to be so so many different personnel groups. You know, you have to go against a heavy set, and then you have to go against spread stuff. So uh, they're utilizing all the, the all the right guys in the right spots, and uh, we have to be ready for that. So I think it's probably one of the most difficult def- uh, offenses to prepare for on defense, and uh, we're lucky we get to practice against it every day. How about two freshmen? Any uh, any of those guys you think ready to make a contribution on defense? On defense. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I think there's some guys that are kind of floating in between, and, and we'll see. But, um, you know, we're going to do what's best for the team and also what's best for them, you know. And so I think right now there's a couple guys in the bubble that are we're trying to feel out right now. And I think Jalen Moore, and Jay Irvine, and even Elu hasn't been healthy yet. But, not, you know, now that he's in the mix of things, I think we got to wait and see how they perform.